All right, so the next step what I'm going to be making now is what they call verveals. Uh, verveals, it's, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. So what these are is this is how to attach the leather liner to the outside of the helmet that's your for your avantail. So how this works is, this is another example. So this one you rivet to the helmet. So that part sticks out of the helmet. So then what happens is this, uh, your leather piece goes over it, there's a hole in the leather, it fits over it, and then through this hole you put like a, a leather strap or something, so it holds it on. So this secures the leather to the bassinet. Now for this bassinet I need to make 15 of these, these are the ones I'm making for it. I have piled a few, so I've got four so long, so I still have to make 11 of them. So I'm going to make a few of them, a few more than I need, um, in case I damage them or something like that. So these are out of mouthfeel only. Uh, you can do them out of brass, um, brass is just a bit more expensive, plus I don't have brass rods, so um, these I'm going to be making from mild steel. So um, I'm just using a 10 mm uh, round bar, and I will be doing this on my lathe. Okay, so... Right, so uh, starting off, I'm using uh, two bits that I'm working on my lathe. I'm using a thread cutter because I don't have all the attachments. I wish I had more attachments, but this is all I have at the moment. Also very important when working with a lathe, please be careful. This thing can be dangerous. I've got a small little lathe here. This can be dangerous. Don't wear long sleeves or anything like that. You want to be very careful this machine. This machine can hurt you very, very badly. So you want to be very careful. Eye protection. No gloves, nothing loose that can be caught in it. Don't come near the chuck with your hands or anything like that while it's moving. Make sure it's off and it's secure if you're going to be doing anything with the chuck. This thing is very dangerous. Um, it can be very dangerous. I've seen some terrible videos with uh, stuff like this. So let's carry on. Let's start cutting the reveals.
and there we go we've got one reveal cut and into the cup just 10 more to go so with these reveals um, if anyone's interested I can make for you um, I can if I get enough orders I will be able to start lowering the price and so so if you're looking for it things aren't always the easiest thing to make um, on its own or if you don't have all the correct tools there are some videos now to make it um, you know s some ways you know it's you can make them um, but if you're interested I will start selling these um, at a, a decent price I can make them in brass if you need them in brass uh, or in mild steel if you want them in mild steel um, obviously steel is going to be harder than brass um, brass will just be more decorative um, they weren't always made in brass brass is just more decorative um, but yeah uh, give me a shout if you want me to um, put these on sale if you're interested to buy any of these uh, yeah just give me a shout